Dr. Kamini Rao. I practice infertility in Bangalore. Infertility is a global problem. It is no more a curse. It is a disease like any other disease which can be treatable. Of course, we are now coming closer to infertility by choice rather than chance. What does that mean? Just because you're infertile, you don't become incomplete. And this is something that has to go not only to women, but to men as well. Today, we think that only women suffer from infertility, but men do as well. Which means to say that women are not only being blamed, men are also being blamed. Because the awareness through print and electronic media has penetrated the very bedrooms of everybody. And this awareness has come as a rude shock to the men as well. There are many, many reasons for this. But the most important reasons that we find today is the stress levels, the expectation levels, and also they feel that infertility is something that can be treatable with just a consult or maybe I will wait for a year, maybe I'll wait for three years. They get across to a routine gynecologist, but infertility is now a subspeciality in its own right. And therefore, it would be wiser for the couple to seek the expert's help, I mean the infertility specialist's help, so that a lot of time is not wasted in repetition, which is what we see today in our clinic. Treatment for infertility can be very varied from a single counselling appointment to telling you the right time of ovulation, when to time the intercourse, to even the most advanced treatments like for example in vitro fertilization or we're looking at in vitro maturation or we're even looking at various treatments in the lab for example looking at MC. ICSI, which are all treatments that where the sperms are being used where it's very few in number to fertilize the egg. So therefore, if you have infertility, it does not necessarily mean that you will be spending lakhs of rupees. What it only means to say is that we need to find the cause. So whether it could be the cause for the woman or the man, the point is it's a couple problem. So rather than a blame game, let's have a fact finding problem. The industry has kept with the advancements of uh, infertility treatment and that is the IVF. There have been improvements in the drugs. The kind of drugs that have been given uh, are much more superior compared to what was being given earlier. Like the urinary products are now replaced by the recombinant products. We also have a lot of uh, improvements in the culture fluids. The quality of these culture fluids, a day three medium, a day uh, two medium. And so we also have in terms of innovations in the lab, the embryoscope, which can tell you every day as the photographs are being taken on these embryos, you will see the rate of cleavage of these embryos. So gone are the days when we only looked at morphology and saw whether the embryo was good or not on day three and day five, but we also get the life cycle of these embryos on all the other days. So therefore embryo selection becomes extremely good. Also, we are looking at the endometrial problem and we are looking at ERA test where we are actually looking at a lot of uh, uh, proteins which get upregulated and 438 of these kind of genes are upregulated and this is actually tested in the form of whether it is re re receptive or it is non-receptive and if it is receptive is it pre-receptive or post-receptive so therefore your timing of embryo transfer can actually be you know corrected based on the era test we also have a lot of adjuvants that are now being used in the endometrium to help the thin endometrium. We're looking at effective treatment for the thin endometrium where tuberculosis has been a factor. Proper treatment of infections has been one of the things that have actually come up. And apart from this, a lot of innovations in instrumentation have been provided in the lab for making things very, very transparent in terms of a witness where you can actually look at these embryos that belong to that particular couple. So there is no mix up that occurs. So 
documentation has also improved. The software that is being used also gives us a clarity on the cases as well as where is the source of the problem. I think, you know, we are looking at 60% in terms of a pregnancy rate. So I would like to put this across, do not despair. There is no 100% in infertility treatment. However, you may have failed your infertility treatment, but when you actually leave the clinic, and maybe lo and behold, in a period of two months or three months, you conceive on your own. Because the effect of these drugs last for at least six months after stopping. So therefore, do not despair. There is always this opportunity of being investigated completely, treated completely with the most modern medicine and the infertility specialists are the best for treating infertility. When is the right time to have a baby? That's not a question that I would ask myself. I would ask the couple because the couple feels that they need the baby, then they need to get the best treatment right from day one. So I would say that if you are being treated in your own place by a gynecologist and there is repetitive treatment without any results, I think that's the time to have a second opinion. It's important to look for the specialist in fertility with specific qualifications to that particular uh, speciality and then go and talk to the doctor concerned and get to know where your problem is. Because if you are going to a doctor and the doctor is prescribing even before talking to you, I think it is your right to ask the doctor where is my problem. So I think you need to be going across to the doctor concerned and asking them please investigate me to let me know where the problem is. Infertility is not a curse, it's a disease which can be treated. It's important for us to have a very positive attitude towards treatment. It may take a little longer, it may not be as quick as you would have it for treating a common cold or a fever because, mind you, after you've conceived, it takes nine months for the baby to come. So you're waiting then. So you're just waiting a little longer here just to make sure where is the problem and what would be the solution. It's your right to ask your doctor what are they doing for you and why they are doing what they are doing. Very important. And also, believe me, if you've not just conceived in the first cycle, there's always a second cycle. It's not a lottery ticket. And unlike in all the Hindi movies, you know, just one act of intercourse and then they land up with twins and the whole lot of things. So please get that out of your mind. It does take some time to conceive. So give it adequate time. And also to see those two pink lines is what you're looking for. Believe me, the success of your two pink lines is also ours. So let's celebrate the success of these two pink lines as soon as possible. Thank you.